What's up, Internet? I am Manish from RebellionRider.com. Welcome back once again. Today, we will learn how to install Oracle Database 21C on Windows 10 Professional 64-bit version. Like its previous releases, Oracle Database 21C is also only available for 64-bit Windows operating systems, which means you will not be able to install it on your 32-bit operating system. Also, similar to Oracle 18C or 19C, Oracle Database 21C does not support Windows Home Edition. I have seen people installing it on Home Editions, but later they face various problems. Keeping this in mind, I would suggest you against it. Anyways, here on your screen are the minimum hardware requirements for installing Oracle 21C on your system. Take a good look before you start installing. If at any point you are confused, then I would suggest you check out the corresponding blog. Its link is in the description. Now, let's start the process. Before we start installing, first we need to download the Oracle Database 21C. Let's quickly do that. Step 1. Head over to oracle.com and then click on products from the menu bar. Doing so will open up the product menu. From here, you have to select Oracle Database. Now you have to click on the button saying Download Oracle Database 19C. I know it's weird, but for me it's not showing any option for downloading Oracle 21C. If it is showing to you, then just click that. But don't worry, though the option is showing only 19C, but we will still be downloading Oracle 21C. Click the button. Now download page will open. Here scroll down a little bit. And here are all the options for downloading Oracle Database 21C. From this list, I'm going to select the Microsoft Windows 64 bit. Simply click here and download will start. Just to save time, I have already downloaded this file. Here it is. With this, the first step of downloading is complete. Next, we have to set the software location for our Oracle Database 21C. Before that, I just want to remind you to make sure that you are logged into your Windows operating system with administrative user and have all the privileges that are required to create Windows user and execute the files. That being said, let's move ahead. Before we start executing the files that we just downloaded, we first need to decide the location. This location will serve as the software location for our Oracle database. We need to decide this location beforehand because we won't be able to change it during the installation. I have created a folder in my C drive and named it Oracle 21C. Next I will move the zip file that we just downloaded and extract it at this location. Let's do that. Now I will extract the content of this zip file here. Now we are all set to start the installation of Oracle Database 21C. Now simply locate the setup.exe and right click on it and select run as administrator. In the first step, we have to decide how we want to configure the database. For that, we have two options here. First, create and configure a single instance database. And second, set up software only. In case if you are setting up a rack or upgrading from previous Oracle database version, then I suggest you to go with the second option, which is set up software only. But if you are setting up a fresh Oracle server and want to have a starter database, then go with the first option, which I am going to do right now. Step 2 System Class Here again we have two options Desktop Class and Server Class If you are installing Oracle Database 21C on a server grade system then select the second option but if you are installing 21C on your desktop or laptop then go with the first option Since I am installing my Oracle Database 21C on my laptop so I will be going with the first option which is Desktop Class Step 3 Oracle Home User In the third step, we have to configure the Oracle Home User. Here we have four options. 
select the first option which is virtual user only when you neither want to create a new user nor want to use any existed windows user i would never suggest you to do that second option use existing windows user as the name suggests select this option when you want to use an existed standard or administrative windows user third option which is the recommended as well as my favorite option create new windows user if you will select this option the oui will create a new windows user dedicated for your oracle database operations the fourth option is use windows built-in accounts in this option you can select one of those user accounts that windows operating system has created for you during installation here i am going to select the third option and create a fresh windows user for my oracle database 21c i'm going to name it oracle 21c so that i can recognize it during maintenance or uninstallation for this installation password is going to be oracle done press next and move ahead step 4 typical installation this is a very important step configure it carefully and save the information that you are configuring here for further use the first configuration is the oracle base this is the base directory where all the oracle database 21c binaries libraries and files are going to be saved i'm good with the default one so i won't change it next is software location this is the location where you have saved and extracted your oracle 21c software database file location all the important files of your oracle 21c such as data file redo log files control files server parameter files, password files and others are saved onto this directory. All these files are the most important files which are required for the proper functioning of your Oracle database 21c. Again, I'm good with the default one, so I won't change this location. But if you want, you can do so. Next is database addition. Here we again have two choices. First is enterprise addition and second is standard addition 2. Here I will go with the enterprise addition so that I can use the Oracle database 21c with its full potential. Character set. Let it be on Unicode. Don't change it. Global database name. This is the name of your database and it will serve you as your database SID. You will need it while establishing connection with your database using tools like SQL Developer. Right now it is set on ORCL. If you want, you can change it but i am good with the default one now comes password every database has some special users such as sys system sysman and dbs nmp in order to connect with the database using these users you need a password that's exactly what you are going to set in these fields the password that you will be setting here will be the password for your administrative users for the demonstration i will set the password as oracle but you can set whatever password you want. Done. Now I will suggest you to store your global database name and password somewhere securely because you will be needing this information later. Okay, next is pluggable database name, the last field. Here you will set a unique name for your pluggable database. This pluggable database will work as a template for all the PDBs which you will be creating in the future. By default, it is set on ORCL PDB. I'm good with this name, so I won't change it. Okay, now hit next. Warning for the password. Here I will press the yes button and move ahead. The prerequisite check. Our prerequisite check is successful and here is our summary. Next you just have to press the install button and wait for the installation to complete. Let's do that. Great. Installation is start. Don't go anywhere. One more thing is left. But first I'm going to fast forward the video a little bit to save time. Okay, installation done. Now the one thing that's left is to save this URL. This is the URL for accessing your Oracle Enterprise Manager. I have done a series explaining how to access Oracle EM. 
the link is on your screen. Next, you simply have to press the close button. So that's how we install Oracle Database 21C on Windows 10. Hope you find this video helpful. If so, then please press the like button and comment and tell me what do you like the most. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.